Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use Bulrock CAD BIM library in Prodlib environment. If you have downloaded and installed Prodlib, you will see a green envelope Prodlib Manager on your desktop. After clicking on the icon, the standalone desktop app will open. Here you can see all the available CAD BIM libraries and also different filtering possibilities in order to find the product that you need. As an example, we will use Bulrock product library. After clicking on the book-shaped icon, you will see the primary data of the selected library. For example, the availability of different languages and which softwares are supported. In this case, the library is in English, and it is supported by Autodesk, AutoCAD, and Revit. In addition, from here it's possible to update, make shortcuts to the desktop, or uninstall the library. When clicking on the arrow-shaped icon, the Bowrock standalone desktop library starts. Here you can view all the information that is available in this library. Preset Autodesk Revit walls, information about Bowrock blocks, and different cross sections. All information simply and user-friendly in one place. All users can view and access the information available in the library. You do not need AutoCAD, Revit, or any other software for that. You simply just need to download and install Prodlib or view the data in Prodlib Weblib webpage. When selecting a drawing from the user interface, for example, Window, then you can open the PDF files directly, in case you have the PDF software. And if you have AutoCAD on your PC, you can also open CAD files directly. Next, we will move to AutoCAD. Prodlib works as an add-in for AutoCAD full version. When clicking on Prodlib and selecting the Bowrock library, it will start the catalog. Here we see the same information as before. Let's go to the cross sections and select the category Foundation and choose from there the drawing Foundation 4.1 and click on Insert. As a second example, let's choose the category Roof and take the drawing Roof 4.3 and click on Insert. As you can see, with three simple clicks, I have the cross sections in my AutoCAD project. The same way as demonstrated with AutoCAD, Prodlib works in Revit as well. After opening Autodesk Revit software, you will see the same Prodlib add-in when Prodlib is installed. When clicking on the selected library, it will open. Let's choose the category Bowrock Wall Structures and select Exterior Walls with Insulation and take the Bowrock Ecoterm plus 500. Here you can see the vertical cut with hatches and textures and also a 3D picture of the selected wall. In addition, also Revit property information is available. If I select a specific layer, for example, Bowrock Ecoterm plus 500, I can see the Revit material information of the selected block. This information goes directly to under Revit materials. The pre-configured Revit wall can be directly inserted into your Revit project. When clicking on the drawn Revit wall and selecting Edit Type, I can see the information that comes to Revit, the name and web page of the manufacturer or technical data such as density, strength, fire rating, sound insulation, etc. After going to Structures and selecting Edit and choosing Bowrock Ecoterm plus 500 layer, I can view the materials data directly from Revit Material Browser tab. For example, I can view density or compression strength of the block, or even the thermal data. Going back to the Bowrock library, there exists the possibility to configure and adjust the selected wall by the user. When clicking on the Configure tab and inserting a name for the new wall to be configured, the Configurator tab opens. Here you have the possibility to fill in the necessary information about the project. This information goes directly to the information corner of the drawing. Furthermore, there is the possibility to change and delete layers of the wall or add new layers like insulation, plaster, etc. Later on, it is possible to change the position of the layer according to the user's will. Let's put it as a third layer, counting from the outside. Next, it is possible to insert the created wall into Revit the same way as we did before. The information of the wall goes the same way into Revit as before. 
Also, the same material information of the block can be viewed under Revit Material Browser tab. Moreover, from the created wall a PDF printout can be made. Last, but not least, the same way it is possible to create an AutoCAD DXF file. After creating a CAD file, the user can add its own specific drawing corner or add, modify, delete hatches, layers, etc. according to will. As can be seen, it is very easy to select or build up a wall of your own and insert it into Revit or simply make an AutoCAD drawing or create a PDF printout.